I won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pin code, pin code, Signs can be tricky, it can overheat your brain. Signs can be hard to chew, each bite can be a pain. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pin code. Stop with this nonsense. I said that I'm staying here inside and that it's for everyone's safety. But maybe it's time to think about your own safety. No need to starve yourself out, is there? Uh, I'll leave it by the doorway, please, and step back to a safe distance away. No more at the doorway. Only in exchange for an explanation. What's going on with you? Oh, okay. Come in at your own risk, then. Okay, so what's the matter here? It's, it's all about one amazing quantum experiment. It's... Um, open my eyes. In the world of atomic particles, strange things happen. For example, quantum light photons behave like waves. On the other hand, like particles. What kind of picture will we see on a photosensitive screen if we direct a photon beam on it through two slits? Hmm, two stripes? Nope. In this experiment, photons act like waves. Their vibrations through the two slits intersect and accumulate, and therefore the picture on the screen looks a little different. And this is a normal occurrence. But what if instead of a beam we direct one photon after another? Then we shouldn't see any waves intersecting and accumulating, and we should, theoretically, see two stripes on the screen. Amazingly, but even directing single photons onto the screen, we will still see the same picture. It's as if the photons are flying simultaneously through both slits, behaving like waves and intersecting and accumulating with themselves. That's some kind of quantum mystery. Can the photons truly multiply themselves? Of course not. Hmm, oh, what if we try to determine through which slit the photon flies through? What if we install some kind of detector? And that's the amazing part. Once we install a detector and determine through which slit the photon flew, then the picture changes and only two stripes remain. This experiment proves that observation affects the position of quantum particles in open space. Think about it. It appears that specifically we assign form to this world with all of its rules, physical laws, and cooperation. Okay, so what? I like this world. Me too. But it turns out that any one of us could change it with as much as the uh, strength of his imagination. Why hasn't anyone done this yet then? Because nobody until now knew that it was possible. You see, I've covered the walls of my room with an anti-imagination layer so that I don't give in to any temptation. Let's pretend what you say is true, but you're not going to harm the universe with just your imagination. You don't know me well enough. When I was little, I was an extremely bad-mannered and even destructive child. If you could see my childhood drawings, you'd see what kinds of worlds my imagination drew. I've changed a lot since then, of course, and I've even re-educated myself. But who knows what my subconscious is capable of. So what? You're just going to sit here for all time? Because of some childhood drawings? It's the only way. Ugh. So how's our patient doing? I don't even know what to say. 
Is it true you can change something by the power of your own thought? Spin! Hmm. Forever! Hey, you there! On board the ship! Don't stop! Let me dock! <laughs> ah, welcome, space colleague, on board the sphere jet! Docko! Hey, Docko! Where are you, buddy? <laughs> Huh? He found me! Oh, and would you happen to be a relative of our Daco? You look strikingly similar. I'm so much more than a relative. I'm his clone! So fess up, Birdman, where have you hidden my Dockster? You see, Doko thought he could change the universe with the power of thought. <laughs> what? <laughs> Stop! I made this clone in some of my darker years. When I was still a young slacker, and nobody wanted to be my friend, so I made a copy of myself. Ah, we were like a gang. Yeah, we stirred up things big time. Cool. There's nothing great about it. I have since then become a better uh, person unlike you. Oh, stop your droning. I don't appreciate it. Do you see? He can't learn about our secret. Wait a second. Are you serious about that or something? Just like that, I can think up anything I want? Like some kind of magician? What? Why did you tell him about everything? Oh, seems like I came at just the right time. Don't even think about changing anything. I wasn't asking you. I can mess up the entire universe now. I will not allow you to do that. Friends. Why don't we calm down and have a little tea to drink? Back off, Birdman, or I'll have to calm you down. Now what can I mess up that's more interesting? Oh! How about smashing up that lamp over there? No, the light bulb will stay intact! Okay, I was just checking you. Why waste my powers on such nonsense? <laughs> now I'll choose something a little more fun. I don't understand anything, but it seems like something epic's about to happen. What is this? Let the number for pi be equal to four. How awful. No, let the number pi be equal to 3.14. You like that, huh? Then let's let the phrase rule of thumb no longer apply to the hand, but to the foot instead. Let it be like it was earlier. What kind of quantum physics is this? As if there weren't enough other problems around. E equals MC cubed. Ha <laughs> You're insane. E equals MC squared. Spheroscope. Spheroscope. And I say E equals MC cubed. E equals MC squared. No way. Cube, 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 cube. Stop it right now. Protons rotate around electrons. Electrons rotate around protons. Oh boy. This looks like the most boring batter of good and evil in all of history. Hmm. How do I ask this? Explain, please, how photons behave so strangely in that experiment with two slits, and someone watching. Uh, could you somehow explain in simpler terms, maybe? All right, Daco. That's it. If you don't want to do this the easy way, then we'll do it the hard way. <laughs> Chico, let's bolt! Electricity doesn't exist. Electricity does exist. If electricity exists, then we both die an electro death. So be it. But I won't allow you to run amok in my universe. Oh, maybe we should stop them. How? If they can change the universe with just the power of thought. Can't stop that. Friends, stop this buffoonery, please. I found out that not everything works like Daco thinks it does. Don't make me angry, Birdman, or I'll turn you into a frog. Ribbit, Stop ribbit. Stop this now! Doc, you're a loser. Together we could control the entire universe. Not in present company. Relax, guys. 
Quantum physics doesn't work the way like you want it to. The quantum world and all its relationships arose long before the appearance of our civilization. And it's not about to change just because of a few observers, hmm, who incidentally also consist of quantum particles. Quantum particles are neither spheres nor waves. Those are only approximations to describe them mathematically and envision them somehow. But we'll never be able to imagine what they actually look like because we'll never see anything remotely similar in our macro world. And of course, in the quantum world, our normal logic doesn't work. Different rules apply here, and they can't be understood using our experience. What's firing the photons, the plate with the slits, the photosensitive screen? These are all parts of one system. The particles behave themselves identically, irregardless of whether they are fired one by one or in a stream. From this, we get the identical wave pattern on the screen. And when the observer is introduced, he also becomes a part of the system and just brings about a change in the result. Logically, it's not possible to understand quantum physics. We can only use it. But that it's impossible to change the universe with the power of your thoughts, I can guarantee you. Phenomenal. A weight lifted from my shoulders. The universe is now safe. Yeah, what a joke. You nerds are boring me to death. Your physics is about nothing, and so is your universe. Yeah, and you, Daco, you're as boring as a textbook. Ugh. Eh, whatever. It's all good. Hasta la vista, baby. Until my clone changes, he seems doomed to be very lonely. It's hard to disagree with that, my friend. Wow, look! How long do you think it can spin for? Huh. Hmm. Well, like I said, in quantum physics, there's still a lot that's unexplained.